Hello friends, this is Shifa. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to talk about a poetry which is also part of an ICSC syllabus. The poetry name is A Work of Artifice written by Mark Piercy. Now, before looking at the poetry itself, we are going to first look at the poet Mark Piercy. She was born on 31st March 1936 in Detroit, Michigan. She is an American progressive activist and a writer. She developed love for books and had uh, written uh, lots of books as well. Her work includes Women on the Edge of Time, He, She and It, which made her won the 1993 Arthur Clarke Award. And another work she has written is Gone to Soldiers. It is also a very important work in the terms of that work made her won a New York Times bestseller award. Now we will look at the poetry itself. Now in the poetry, the poet has chosen the metaphor of bonsai tree. But why bonsai tree? Bonsai tree means a loss of growth and freedom in this poem. It also implies life without space to grow. So if you are going to see throughout a work of artifice poetry, it's an in fact an extended metaphor of a bonsai tree used which represents women. So the poet in a way questions if women are just materials of interior decoration and they are just expected to understand their limits and remain tightly tied to their responsibilities. A bonsai tree's root and branches are pruned tightly so it does not grow to its real size so that's what she is trying to portray in the whole poetry and she is trying to question how why and how a woman's growth uh, is cut off or the woman's freedom is cut off through the patriarchal power starting with line by line analysis the first line starts with the bonsai tree in the attractive pot could have grown 80 feet tall on the side of the mountain till split by lightning. So here the poet is saying the bonsai tree which is represented as woman is right now in the attractive pot which would have grown 80 feet tall which means in a very natural climate or a very natural environment she would have grown the bonsai tree would have grown 80 feet tall but what happened a gardener carefully pruned it pruned means cut it into small and how much that gardener cut it into it is now nine inches high so you can imagine the comparison made with 80 feet tall to nine inches high Every day, as he whistles back the branches, the gardener croons. So the gardener is singing by cutting the branches off, which means he is proud of what he is doing. Okay, the gardener is in fact enjoying the process. So now we are going to look at the another two paras. The gardener say, it is your nature to be small and cozy, domestic and weak. How lucky little tree to have a pot to grow in. Now the gardener here is actually saying that it's in your nature to be small and very much comfortable. Cozy means comfortable. And in fact, that gardener is saying you should feel lucky about yourself that you had you have so beautiful pot that is allowing you to grow but it's an irony actually because that pot is not allowing that woman to grow and the pot here signifies all the hierarchical power which do not let women grow outside their home or outside their kitchen with living creatures one must begin very early to doff their growth the bound feet the crippled brain the hair and curlers the hands you touch this para clearly signifies how as soon as a woman is born she is her growth is dwarfed by society or the patriarchal power 
and the description is given in a very detailed way the bound feet the crippled brain so as soon as a woman is born she is made to believe certain things that she should be behaving in this way she should be in kitchen she should be uh, you know dressing or uh, talking in a certain way to be accepted by the society and this is how you don't let a woman grow okay and her personal her uh, professional her financial growth stops there and there and uh, this is how the poetry conveys how there is a loss of growth and development constantly to a woman by a male dominated society thank you so much so this is the end of the video will uh, be back in some days again till then bye bye see ya take care